Right, so I've just got a quick video showing you me installing the rebranded 2014 soft mod kit, which was rebranded to 2016 soft modding tool. Um, this is version 1.6 Xbox, I'm using Splinter Cell. And I'm just going to show you how quick it is and how easy it is to soft mod your Xbox. Um, I rebranded it to 2016 soft modding tool because it's 2016 and the whole soft mod has changed. Um, it's folderized, it's organized better. Um, I changed how I do the soft mod, I changed, I also updated dash loader. I now use dash loader for when the soft mod is happening. Um, it's even more user friendly. Uh, easier to install. I use my EEPROM backer upper. Yeah, no daft name, but I use that to do the silent EEPROM backup after the soft mod. Um, that produces an EEPROM.bin, an EEPROM.cfg file, and an Xbox info.txt file, which is dated. So uh, if you open that up, it will tell you when you backed up your EEPROM, which is handy. It has all the Xbox information and stuff like that. Um, also, when I do the EEPROM backup, there's a kernel file that's installed to the hard drive, which is whatever kernel version your Xbox is using, and I use that to determine what kernel fonts in the kernel font menu. Um, there's a whole there's a whole plethora of changes. Um, it's basically done from scratch. So that's your Xbox soft modded. And the Xbox will restart. You have to eject the disc, obviously, or it will reload the game up. Now we set up Shadow Seed Partition. And that's that done. You have EEPROM backups in that location. You didn't see it doing the backup, that's the whole point of it and it loads you straight into your dashboard. No restarting, nothing, straight into the dashboard. Um, your EEPROM backup is located here. That's the files. And if you want to customize the soft mod, you can use NK patcher settings. So that's the 2016 soft mod until that's it installed in less than three minutes. So, Okay, thanks for watching.